choose to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt ring. Right, the bouncer's guilt ring. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV in very, very sunny and warm Rotslav. No, it's hot, man. I didn't, I did not expect it. Obviously, I thought Poland, yeah, you get, it's like 50-50, but no, this is, this is hot. Obviously, we're at a, a major fight here, Unified World Heavyweight Championship, Usyk and, and Dubois, someone you know very well in Daniel. Good to come to a, a big fight. I don't think you've really been once before. Maybe a Fury fight when your brother boxed, but yeah. getting that big fight, Phil? Yeah, no, of course. Like, me, me and Francis were saying earlier, that like, this is mad for Dubois. Like, he's got three belts on the line. No, not on the line, but he can grab three of the four major belts. Like, car, like, what? What an achievement if he does. 25 years old, I believe, Daniel is still. 25 years old, like, he's still young as well, he's got a lot of time. So, yeah, I'm rooting for him. Moses, before we uh, talk about yourself, break it down for me. Uh, as I said, someone that you know very well, you sparred many years ago, sparred recently in his camp in, in Spain. Um, make his case for me. What do you mean? Like, explain wh why Daniel could win this fight tomorrow night. Man, he hits hard, man. So, yeah, I reckon... Listen, there could be a million ways he can win the fight and there could be a million ways he loses the fight. But obviously, like I said, I'm rooting for Daniel and hopefully tomorrow night gets a knockout. Is he the hardest puncher you've sparred? No, but he's up there though. He's definitely up there. Listen, what, once you're over 200 pounds and like, you've got both men fighting, <laughs> like, they all kind of hit hard anyway. So, Apart from his power, can you talk to me about other attributes that Daniel Dubois, maybe his speed, uh, is he quick? Yeah, no, he's, especially with his jab, yeah, he's very sharp with it, so, um, yeah, I feel like, listen, it is a big ass, yeah, but it's not impossible, like, he's got two hands, two legs, just like Daniel has, so, like I said, I'm rooting for him. Lastly, on tomorrow night, do you think he has to get it done early? I'm talking probably the first half of the fight. Ideally, yes, but, um, We'll see, innit? He could even get him out late, so as long as he gets the as long as he gets the W, it doesn't matter how he gets it done, does it? Usyk, uh, someone you'd love to share the ring with, even one day maybe challenge him, but just to spar, and that's never happened before, I believe. I would, uh, I would love to. I'd love to 100%. Like um, I've never turned down or backed down from anything, so yeah, 100%. I would, and um, if the opportunity comes, I'll take it with my fans. How do you get on with Southpaws? Oh, I love him. Yeah. <laughs> I love him. No, as ever, ever since I was younger, like down the boxing gym, when I first started to like even now, all my sparring partners are Southpaw, so I prefer I prefer Southpaws. Like I'm I'm more comfortable with Southpaw, so yeah, I think that I would I would love to do a few rounds with him. Sure you would. So what is the the latest with yourself, Moses? What's going on? Um, I'm back out in the Joe Joyce Joe Joyce Zhang two rematch. Um, Another six rounder or eight rounder, we're still seeing what's going on. But yeah, back out then, and then we we'll see what the future holds after that. We look at potentially eight fights this year. Yeah, well, that's what we're, that's what we're aiming for. Okay, well, listen, uh, Moses, I appreciate your time here in Poland. Enjoy it out here. Enjoy the weather. Enjoy the fight tomorrow, and uh, I'm sure one day I'll be speaking to you uh, when you're headlining one of these big bills. Well, appreciate it, man. Thank you very much. Thank you, Moses. Did not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt ring. Right, the bouncer's guilt ring. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day.